No, I don't waste no time What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel My name is Joshua Daniel George a social media marketer and online coach I have my own social media marketing agency or advertising agency called Brandpreneur here in the Netherlands Where we basically help e-com stores e-com businesses meal delivery services, etc Get more sales more purchases more revenue by leveraging Facebook advertising And I also have my own coaching business where I basically teach you guys on how to do the same and there's one big topic, you know, that everyone is speaking about lately, and that is, of course, iOS 14, you know, the the new changes with the ad accounts and the business managers, etc. And then, you know, from that, obviously, the main question is how to make sure that you're still compliant with Facebook's ever-changing advertising policies and what we can do now to make sure that our ad accounts stay live and don't be, you know, don't get disabled, rejected, or you know, demolished by uh, Facebook and the changing advertising policies. So what you need to understand with regards to the changes with Facebook is that going forward, everything needs to be above board. Facebook wanna to get to a point where everything is verified and everything is legit. So the ideal scenario for Facebook is that you are a verified profile on Facebook, which means that your identity is confirmed with either a driver's license or passport or any kind of identification. The business manager that you are running ads on is also a legitimate business. It's a verified business manager and that the domains that you're running ads to, so the, you know, the traffic that you're taking off of Facebook onto the website, that domain is also verified. That way, everything is above board and Facebook are basically covered when it comes to you know, uh, the media, etc. because they can say, well, this person is a legitimate business, the advertisement that they're running is legitimate, and there's no, you know, there's no scams or nothing going on with Facebook because that is their worst fear, right? The user experience is priority number one for Facebook. Media buying, you know, ads, etc., all come secondary to that because if there's no one to run ads to, then that whole business model comes collapsing down. So Facebook wants to protect the users as much as possible. They want to make sure that no advertisements or scams or nothing like that and that the users so people that actually use the platform to tag each other in cat videos and stuff like that that they have the best experience possible stay on the platform for as long as possible because the longer they stay on the platform the more we can advertise to them the more money facebook make okay so that is in a nutshell the whole facebook business model they need to protect that business model and they do that by basically you know prioritizing the users over the media buyers so what we need to do first of all is verify the business manager so if you go to business.facebook.com then go to business settings and on the left hand side you go to business info you need to make sure that all of your company details is you know filled out and that the business manager is verified when you go to business info you'll see either a gray dot a blue dot or a green dot depending on you know what part of the process you are in in terms of verifying your business manager and then on the right of that it will say view details if you click on that you can start the business verification what you need to do is you need to prove to facebook that you own the business and that the business address matches the official business address of you know the, the company that you've registered if your business verification button is grayed out or you can't click on it then what you need to do is go to developer.facebook.com create an app and then copy the app id and paste that into your business manager how do you do that you go to apps on the left hand side of business settings you add an app and then you paste the id of the app you've just created and then if you refresh the business manager you will notice that that business verification button or start verification button is, uh, you know, it's, it's blue or it's popped up or you can click on it basically. Okay, so if your business verification button is grayed out and you hover over it and it says something like you need to be compliant with advertising policies for several weeks before you can request verification, you can actually, you know, go around that by creating a business app. Okay, so once your business manager is verified, 
You then go to brand safety again on the left hand side and click on domains and make sure that your domain is verified as well. You can do that in three ways. The two ways that I recommend are either that meta tag verification or by adding a DNS record in your host and provider uh, software. You'll just add that DNS, I think it's a TXT file. You basically, it literally just says how you can do it with Facebook. You know, you just copy and paste that TXT file in the DNS records of your host and provider, and then your domain is verified as well. If you do not do this, then Facebook will take down your business manager or ad account sooner rather than later, especially if you've just gotten a new client and you are the first person to run ads. So for example, you've gotten a client, has never run ads before, creates a business manager, logs in somewhere in the world, creates a business manager, gives you access, you log in on your IP address, which again is a completely different part of the world. Then in terms of Facebook, they see a new business manager has appeared out of the blue. Then another IP address logs in and starts running advertisements on this business manager, on this ad account, that's never happened before and nothing is verified, nothing is legit. Facebook will take that down for uh, what they call, let me just see, what is it called? Because um, they've got a specific name for it, I've written it down here. Uh, funny enough, I've actually just had a call with one of our clients to uh, discuss this, but they call it unacceptable business practices, okay? Which sounds really harsh, right? It sounds like it's a real you know, bad thing, you've done something extremely wrong and, um, you know, and so on and so forth. So Facebook will flag your account for unacceptable business practices because in Facebook's eyes, it's unacceptable to run ads if you are not a verified business. Now, in terms of verified businesses, because again, that is the next question, right? If you are a drop shipping store or if you're only a small store and you're not yet legitimate, you know, you know, set up in a legitimate way, just just apply for, you know, a chamber of commerce code or whatever, how, however way it goes in your country. You know, with us, all we need to do is go to the chamber of commerce, uh, set up a business, it costs 50 euros and you're up and running, you've got your own business ID and so on and so forth. Um, that is all we need to do. And I think it's the same in the UK. I think for like 30 pounds, you can set up a limited company or a sole proprietorship. And again, you're up and running. I think in the US, you can do it online as well. So it's very, very easy to set up a business and you can use that information to then get your business manager with Facebook verified. Okay, so that is basically how I would do that and how you can sort of prevent Facebook with these changing policies from taking down your account. Now, let's say you are too late with watching this video and your business manager is already taken down, your ad account is already taken down. Then what you can do is you can go to business settings, go to your ad account and then view details. So on the top, it will say like, okay, your ad account is taken down or anything like that. Click on view details. This will take you to an account quality page and then you can actually appeal. And if you click on appeal, it will say something like, um, suspicious activity, you need to confirm your identity. This needs to be done by the owner of the business manager. So if it's your own ad account and business manager, then upload your own ID or you know whatever you wanna upload, um, like I said, driver's license, identification, passport, anything like that. If this is your client's business manager, then your client, so the owner of the business manager, um, needs to upload their identity and then from there they can appeal and you can just say I'm not sure which policy I violated appeal the ad account you'll get the ad account back and then like I said you need to verify the business manager to prevent this from happening again so all in all there's three things basically that you need to do that you need to set up now you know obviously alongside being compliant with Facebook's ad policies but these are things that you can do to prevent any issues from happening in the future business manager verification domain verification and like I said if you are too little too late with all of this then confirm your ID by uploading that um, when Facebook do take your business manager down and then um, they ask for you to confirm your identity. I have not yet found a way to proactively do this so um, as far as I know you can only do this uh, to be fair if you really look there's probably a way to do this uh, proactively but the easiest way is just wait for Facebook to tell you and then confirm the identity and in this process, nothing is uh, forever. You know, obviously, if you leave it for a long period of time, it might be forever, it might be permanent. But if you do this right away, then you should have your ad account back. You know, uh, Facebook says several weeks. 
they obviously say that to make sure that if they do take longer than usual that you don't complain or nothing like that but what i've noticed from experience that within two to five working days so not weekends so you need to skip over the weekends within two to five working days you should have your ad account and your assets back and then from there of course it goes without saying make sure that you know what is you know compliance and what is not compliance what you can say and what you can't say you can uh, find all that by just typing in your know, facebook ad policies um, on Google, you'll get entire lists of what you can say and what you can't say, okay? So that is the sort of proactive approach to making sure that your ad account doesn't get taken down by Facebook due to the new advertising policies and this new iOS 14 update, okay? Hope you got something out of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any you know, questions or anything regarding Facebook advertising policies, ad accounts, restrictions, etc., please leave a comment down below or message me on Facebook. More than happy to help you there as well. If you haven't requested access yet, uh, make sure you check out my free Facebook group called Lifestyle Design Community. There is a free beginner course that helps you get started with social media marketing and get started with your own agency. Completely free in the Facebook group. Feel free to check that out. But for now, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.